Jane and Chris's coach. Marvellous is the only word, oh, isn't it? They really skated superbly tonight. One of the best, I think, I have seen. It was really wonderful. You said to us earlier in the week that it wasn't just a question of winning, it was a question of winning with a real style. Well, I think they've done it tonight. I'm really proud of them. Do you think they felt the tension that we felt? I don't think they did. I think right from the start they went out there and they really felt what they were doing. And I don't think the crowd and came into it. I noticed, in fact, that Jane was smiling at the little girl mm -hmm. before she went on the ice, which yeah. suggests uh, she was very relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. It was, it was just wonderful. What about you, Betty? Oh, it's, it's hard to say how I feel uh, in this championship. It's, uh, I've achieved the two remaining ambitions of my professional career. One was to get a six in a compulsory dance, and the other was for a pupil to win an Olympic. So many, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Great Britain have won the Olympic Championship. They're about to receive the gold medal, and your commentator is Alan Weeks. And there, in the centre of those uh, three gentlemen, the president of the International Olympic Committee, Juan Antonio Samaranth, who will be presenting the medals. Once again, Jane and Chris receive the plaudits of the crowd. Cheers, roars from this very mixed audience from all nationalities around the world. Everyone appreciating their skill, their art. Natalia Bestimanova, Andre Bukin, the Zara Gut from the Soviet supporters booming out. They've been runners up to Chris in 1982, Chris and Jane in 1982. The only time they beat them, or in fact didn't beat them, because they won the title in Europe when Jane and Chris didn't skate. But very friendly. And maybe next year will be their year. Marina Klimova and Sergei Ponomarenko, the younger of the Soviet couples, who come in to take the bronze, as they did in the European Championships. And so we now await to Juan Antonio Samaranz. Jane Torval and Christopher Dean have been on top of that rostrum three times in European Championships, three times in World Championships, and along the way accumulated more maximum marks than any other skaters. Now, it's the most cherished prize in sport, Olympic gold medals for the greatest ice dancers of all time. Olaf Poulsen, president of the International Skating Union, also congratulating them as Juan Samarant presents the silvers to Natalia Bestimanova and Andre Bukin. And the bronze medals, Marina Klimova 
Sergei Ponomarenko. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of both of the Soviet couples in the future. So the medal is presented. And now, flowers. Ladies dressed in Yugoslav costumes, national costumes. Brilliant. And as they turn towards the flags for the playing of the anthem, a moment of pride for all Britons, and especially the citizens of Nottingham, who helped Jane and Chris in their build-up to this Olympic triumph. Now to close the incredible performance of Britain's Torval and Deke, champions of Europe, champions of the world, and now the Olympic champions. We um, we can't remember the skate. It just happened. It came and it went. You seemed so relaxed before you went on the ice. I mean, you you even smiled, didn't you, at the little girl? Yes. Yeah. I felt that I wanted to go out there and perform and. I was happy there were so many people here from England and from Nottingham especially. One and or two of them from where you used to work. That's right, yes. So many people from England and from everywhere tonight, but it was a great support. We really felt it. You have such presence on the ice. It's, it's almost unbelievable. You, you feel it so much, don't you? Well, we try to, well, we hope we live what we're doing at the time. It's, it's really happening for us. But it's understandable that it's difficult for them to put words to that sort of performance. Oh, I think they skated as well as they can. They skate absolutely magnificently tonight. The, one of the best I've ever seen. I was more than proud of them. They wanted more than any other one, Chris? It was um, the pinnacle, I would say, of our amateur career. Um, from starting from winning the World Championships each year and then coming through, finishing with an Olympic. It was, it was fantastic for us. And, and the performance tonight, Jane, how did that actually go for you? Well, as I say, I can't remember it so quickly, but everything seemed just to click into place and we were very pleased with the way we skated. Now, I suspect there's going to be a bit of a party in uh, a short while. So I've just heard. I didn't know before, I meant apparently. <laughs> Chris, any, any thoughts about how you might celebrate now for the rest of the week that you're here? Uh, oh, well, uh, <laughs> it might be a long night. <laughs>